welcome back. I'm Johnny Clouds here, and today we're gonna check out the new Smoke Baby Beast V2. But without further ado, let's dive down and see what's in the box. All right, now that we're downtown, inside the box comes parts kit, backup glass, which uh, apparently I need. Quality control card. This one got a pass, apparently. And direction manual in English. Definitely a bonus. Also, silica pack. Do not eat. So, let's check out these new coils here. First off, we have the baby. V2 A1 coil. It is a single mesh coil. I'm pretty sure it's canthal. And notice the extra large wicking windows here. And here's a good look at the coil here. There's a pretty big port, like so. And this is actually a 0.17, good from 90 to 140, and best between 110 and 130. And now, this is the one I've been waiting for. This is the Baby V2 dual mesh coil. And this is the, the A2 model. It's a 0.2 ohm coil and good from 50 to 80 and best between 65 and 75. Now this is actually a very beefy coil, comparatively speaking. Uh, this is the original Prince right here so you can see that they definitely enlarge the size one thing that you will know or I'll, I'll let you guys know is this baby v2 a2 and a1 coil is not compatible with the baby beast or the big baby beast um, let's take a close look here notice the wicking windows here and this one is cut out significantly and let's get a side view here see how that's like cut out um, that's so you can actually so it can actually saturate the backside of the coil. And if you look here, uh, you can see that the mesh is spread out for better heat dissipation. All right, so let's take the Baby V2 apart and take a close up look. To take it apart, you just unscrew this like so and glass here, coil here. Like so. To put it back in, you just screw this in like so. Put the glass back on. Make sure this goes on straight and you don't cross thread it. Like, like so. And there you go. One of the things that Smoke did with this tank, which is a great idea, is they changed where they put the white gasket here. You know, those days of putting the gasket in upside down without the rib side up to make the airtight seal are gone because they put it in the top portion here. So, and this is really flush. This way, when you close it, it makes an airtight seal like so. One of the, and this is subjective, of course, um, the things I don't like about this tank is the way they did the drip tip. This is, just slides on like this. And for those of you that like to put your own drip tips, you know, be it wide bore, A10 or 510 here, this is pretty proprietary, but that's the subjective con. So let's go back up top and take a vape and see what we think. And we're back up top. So let's take a rip on this uh, Baby V2 tank here. We're gonna try it at 60 watts. Check out the flavor, check out the vapor production. And what are we vaping on today? Leviathan by Hometown Hero. This is the Sea Salt Caramel 3 Nick. And uh, 60 watts on the iJoy Diamond. Well, my first impression is this tank has really good airflow. It's a little bit loud, 
not gonna lie. But uh, the flavor is actually really good. Let's try it at 70. This dual mesh coil is very flavorful. Um, the vapor reduction, obviously you can see it's really good and seems to be very efficient too. Good on smoke, way to get back in the game. I would definitely try one of these out. This is really close to flavor as, pardon me, as the Mesh Pro. Um, Mesh Pro is still probably my favorite flavor tank by Freemax, but uh, this is definitely for all those people that are big smoke fans. This is uh, highly recommended. Um, a few things to note about uh, Baby Beast V2 is the coils are not compatible with the original Baby Beast or uh, Big Baby Beast. As for flavor though, I think this is a uh, right on par with all the mesh coils, except for maybe the Freemax Mesh Pro, what I would say is probably the best flavor tank in my opinion. Um, but yeah, come check it out at A1A Vapors and keep it cloudy everyone. All right, so let's take this guy apart and take a look here. One of the things that Smoke finally did is change the gasket here. Notice that it has been removed, or not removed, but readjusted. Fuck. So inside the box we have Jesus Christ. Inside the boxes. Ah, fuck. 